Hi everybody, I am live at the Cohoes Downtown Marketplace right on Remsen Street, 103 Remsen Street in Cohoes. I'm here with Annie Schwartz. Uh, this is uh, Annie's business here and I am going to, <laughs> yes, look at this beautiful signage. Look at that. And we're right in the front of the store. Look at that. Oh, you can actually read it because it, it's reversed uh, yeah. on the thing. Uh, so Annie, Tell me, how did this come about? Well, I'll tell you. Uh, let's see. About six months ago, my partner and I purchased this building, and we wanted to be part of the, reno the revitalization of Cajos. We really did. And uh, when we bought the building, we decided we were going to live here. And um, the building came with a flea market. And so we... we we're like, okay, <laughs> we have a flea market, but we decided to put our own spin on it. So just about maybe a couple of weeks ago, I took the market over as the manager and have begun making lots of changes um, with everything from paint color to, re to um, uh, rearranging, to bringing in new vendors, to bringing in new kinds of vendors. and. Um, Pulling up, putting up a Facebook page under Cohoes Downtown Marketplace. Yeah. Oh, and the big thing, we gave it a name. Yeah. <laughs> the flea market um, had a name, but it was never put on the building. Now it's officially on the building, Cohoes Downtown Marketplace. And so we did that. Wonderful. Yeah. And I'll tell you, you're doing a great job with your Facebook advertising so far, because that's you. how I found this place. Thank you. I'm actually from Cohoes. Never heard of the Cohoes Downtown Marketplace until I saw a sponsored ad on Facebook. Yeah. And then I uh, checked it out, and I saw uh, what I thought was really neat. Um, part of uh, the Marketing Drills mission is to build up entrepreneurs and small businesses. Uh -huh. um, and I saw you doing a lot of that on your Facebook page, and I thought that was really neat. Um, Annie really talks up the vendors here and really uh, promotes the vendors. And what I think is also really special is she has a young entrepreneur booth that we're going to see in a little bit. We do. And you know, I, I've been an entrepreneur all of my life and I've, I'm an interior, my background is interior design. So having a store is kind of a cool thing for me because I get to have windows, I get to do the windows. Mm, yes, and it's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. And all of the vendors here, they're, they're their own little store. They have their own little boutique and they're all, they all bring something different to the market. And uh, we're, we have artists. Uh, we have people who make furniture, we have people who paint scarves, we have skincare people, we have people who collect art glass and have all kinds of collectibles. So it's a much more varied market than it was before. I've brought a lot of furniture in now. I can't wait to show you our furniture department. Yeah. <laughs> and we have furniture that is the shabby chic kind. We have Right now we have some Asian. And I really want to continue to bring in all different kinds of vendors. So if you are interested in having a booth, please uh, contact me through our Facebook page and we can go from there. But we're getting, we're, we're getting to the point now where we're filled up stairs, we're all filled up, and we're now going to be opening our basement as well. Wow. And we have a really nice basement. Fantastic. Yeah. So how about we take the nickel tour? Okay. I'm going to uh, flip the camera. Can so, we start with our furniture department? Yeah, you know, <laughs> let's get, because I, I don't think I did it justice. Let's oh. just take a look over here. This is when you first walk in. Okay. And uh, you can see we have the beautiful signage up there that's brand new, right? Yeah, yep, yep. our flag, yep. And yes, there's a flag out there. The marketplace is open, everybody. I love that you have your small business Saturday placemats <laughs> out there. And look at this soft text sign. <laughs> now, soft text was here. Soft text was here for, for uh, I don't know, maybe five years ago, and they never had taken the sign down, yeah. previous owners. Yeah. So it is on the ground now, and uh, we're open to best offer on that. Yes. But, uh, yeah, we just have it down just for nostalgia purposes yeah. a little bit. I love it. This is our front window from the other side. I and love it. It's kind of nice to be able to sell things right out of the window. Yes. And uh, we just put hardwood flooring down in the window to jazz it up a little it's bit. It's beautiful. Paint our teal pump. Beautiful. I love your pumpkins. <laughs> Look at over here. It's hard to see with the sun, but this uh, tea shelf might be mine soon because <laughs> I've been spying on it since I got here. And one of our vendors made this. She, oh, she has, that's beautiful. Yeah. That's made. She does all kinds of signage. We'll go by her booth. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. And as you can see, we have stuff outside today. 
and you can get a, a <laughs> the back nice of a pig. shot of the, the hardwood on there. Yeah. Too. Nice. This is our little coffee station over here. I wanted to, people awesome. to come in and have a little cup of coffee. Pardon me. And if, just to be fancy, we, we have China. They can have oh. their coffee on China if they want and I have a cookie. That. And then come over to our um, new farm table when we go around the corner. We'll show you our, our, our new farm table. All right. Well, you lead the way, Annie. Okay. This is Amy's booth. Amy. This is Amy's Amy. booth. Amy, you're on Facebook. <laughs> Hi. Amy makes all kinds of florals. She makes wreaths. And she finds um, unusual containers. And you can go down here and see all the different kinds of whoopsie. Yep. Different containers that she puts floral arrangements oh, wonderful. in. wonderful. Where's some other? This one over here. Yeah. It's very unusual. Little, little copper pot. And oh, she that's has so glassware. Cute. How would you describe your booth? Eclectic. <laughs> Eclectic. Very I love eclectic. it. Very good. Oh. All right. And we put Amy right up front because her flowers are, are just it is. really nice to see right as you can in. Wonderful. I see furniture Here's over here. Furniture. This is yeah. beautiful. Yeah, we got a really nice batch for our very first grouping. Um, and this is a whole bedroom set. And uh, this is beautiful inlay uh, Asian furniture. So yeah, wonderful. Come on over. And, yeah. Excellent. There's a farm table. There's a gentleman named Ken Atwood. He, he made this table especially for us. Wow. And um, we're going to put his little advertisement up soon. And uh, we just put our little funky chairs around it to wow. farm table it up a little. I love it. <laughs> love it. This is Rosie and John's booth, and they have beautiful art glass of every sort. I mean, oh my gosh, this tea set. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Yes little mini toy department here. Yes. More art glass over there. Yes. You never know what you're going to find. This is Randy. Randy, would you like to be on Facebook Live? Oh. <laughs> That's a negative. Okay. Randy finds um, unique containers to do candles. Uh, where's, one, uh, where's your little tea pot? There's a tea pot. I love this one. Oh, that's cute. And she finds these containers here and there, and then she pours candles in them, and she does all kinds of different crafts. Lighted lanterns. Lighted lanterns. Yeah, this, look at this one. I love that Yeah. One. So that's for pretty. people who love crafts, we definitely have a presence of crafts at this market. Yeah. She makes these beautiful ornaments as well. Wonderful. Yeah. Swirly, swirly colors. Yeah. <laughs> More art glass and all kinds of collectibles over here in Gus and Kathy's booth. And we have the owl department and the kitty department <laughs> and the jewelry box department. We kind of divided it up and I helped them a little bit with that. That is great. Yeah. These are our two newest vendors right now. This is Lola. And Lola is and I met recently. Uh, Lola actually uh, gave me some fabulous recommendations for my rosacea. Oh, great. Yes. So Great. I'm looking forward to uh, trying her samples, oh, and uh, she'll Thank be getting you. a call from me. Good. And she knits these gorgeous hats as Oh, well. they're beautiful. Yep. Absolutely beautiful. And this is Mary. Hi, Mary. Hi. Mary Frances Mary Millet. Frances. Mary Millet. Fra okay, Mary Frances. We Millet, okay. right. Yes. That's it. And Mary Frances makes these. She pan paints on these silk scarves. Hand painted, -painted yeah. scarves. Yep. Yeah. These are really intriguing. Aren't they amazing? Oh, thank Look you. at this. Look at this. How do you how do you do this process, Mary Frances? Uh, well, is it's, it with wax or no? Yeah. It's something called resist. Uh, it's like a glue-like substance substance that you put on them. Oh. It's a process. Yeah, that's incredible. It's more, it's more involved than. Two seconds. So you can make you can do any kind of design or or wording on it. It looks right. like yeah, right. That's Fun, beautiful. So we have Mary Francis is our brand new person. So this this says true New York on it. Yeah, that's really neat. Yep, awesome. I like seeing the art glass next to her. Yes, <laughs> her scarves. Beautiful. Yep. There's Gus. He's getting his booth red. Um, when, you know, when they sell things, they got to move things around. Oh, sure. Gus, you would like to say hello? We're on Facebook Live. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. And we have 
Hi. This is John. John, we're on Facebook Live. Hi, have a <laughs> Hi John. This is John's little little area. This is wonderful. Find out John, how would you how would you describe your booth? Oh, I don't know. An eclectic blend of primitives? Do you call prim it primitives? Yep. Primitives, bottles, and advertising. Wonderful. With a little art form. Little art thrown in and yes. quirkiness thrown in. You never yes. know what John's going to bring over I here. Thought that's <laughs> I love that. I'm spying this right here. Maybe it's the media person in me, but oh, radio, television what service. What is in there? Looks like an old radio. It's, it's actually a repair kit. A repair kit? Oh yeah, my God. That's, that's fantastic. Radio repair manual. <laughs> oh, wow. This. John just told us that the radio repairman used to bring this with him to repair radios. Wow. Yeah, I have to tell my kids about that. <laughs> Look at the un Uncle Remus little stories. Yeah. That back is neat. When, back when we had a record player. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. All right. Thanks, John. Thank, Thank you, John. You. Okay, we go over here. Um, this this couple here has a lot of vintage items and they're bringing in my favorite shabby chic furniture oh yeah and they're they do they find a piece of furniture and, and paint it up and distress it here's another one over there a little table oh yeah and you know what i love about shabby chic furniture is you can't really mess it up if you when you yeah. use it if you bang it up a little it's like okay <laughs> yes that's perfect in my house with four kids yeah <laughs> And they're bringing in all kinds of things every week. These people are, I'm so excited that they're here. They're, they're bringing in collectibles of every sort. Yeah. And um, a lot of um, artwork as well. Is this so is Helga. Nice. Helga. <laughs> yes, we named her. And <laughs> she's, um, she's here. Yes. <laughs> Very she much is. here. Okay. You have another, oh, another young entrepreneur. Oh. Hello. Do you want to tell about your honey business? A little bit that your parents do? Yeah. They, You're on Facebook Live right now. Oh, okay. They have, well, my dad has been having, he has over 200 honey hives. Wow. And in 2008, they began their business. So it's been running almost for 10 years. Um, I'm the one who sells all the honey to them. Wonderful. <laughs> Do you, do you eat a lot of honey? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> All honeyed out, right? Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. And the name of your business is? Honey Valley Bees. I'm going to get a picture of your sign real quick, just so people know to look for Honey Valley Bees when they come to the Cohoes Downtown Marketplace. Very good. Yes, wonderful. Sir. Oh, you saw it. You got the label. Yes, okay. thank you. Okay, we'll meet Dan. Dan, you're on Facebook Live. Hi, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't prepare him. <laughs> I'm just going to pan That's across wrong. here. Dan, how would you describe your booth? <laughs> Dan's joking. <laughs> primitive. Is this, a, this is primitive, so I think you gave this is, it. This is Uncle Dan's antiques, collectibles, and more. There you go. Uncle Dan's antiques, collectibles, and more. Indeed. Show us All one right. of your favorite pieces so she can... Highlight it. Something you you're intrigued. You like boxes, right? Boxes. Is... Oh, I collect boxes. You won't find any that I don't keep here. Ah, all right. He Look has a, a lovely collection trunks. of trunks right now, and the lanterns you'll you'll find here and there. Yeah, as well. And with lanterns here. Lots of bottles. Oh. How old How old are these bottles, Dan? Or I mean, are some of them like? These bottles are all, or most all, before 1920. Wow. Before 1920. Yes. Wow. This one is a very rare one in that it is, it belongs to these. This is Duffy's Malt Whiskey in uh, Rochester. Wow. Okay. Um, we also had a distillery in Baltimore. But this one is the only one that was machine made. If you notice, the seam goes all the way to the top. That's a machine made bottle, and they didn't make bottles by machine until 1920. 
Um, oh. And shortly after that, he went out of business. Wow. Oh. You find a, a market for them here? Yeah, I've sold here. Okay. Great. Well, thank you, Dan. No problem. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you're quite welcome. This is another booth um, run by a, a woman named Babe. And she's not here today, but Megan is watching her booth yeah. for her. And we're going to zip on over to, to Babe's booth. Well, Megan's booth. But this is, Babe has a lot of um, vintage cookware. Wonderful. Kind of fun. Megan, would you just, we're on Facebook Live. Hello. Would you like to describe your craft? Um, we do a lot of uh, refurbished, recycled, upcycled goods. Wonderful. Sign it. Style signs. Um, ornaments. Fun. Yeah, this stuff is neat. She did beautiful ornaments. Oh, look as well. Yes. Look at these what beautiful ornaments. What are some of the newer things you just brought in? The ornaments? Um, a lot of the ornaments, the Santa cookies for Santa plates. Yeah. Milk cookies. Neat. Very nice stuff. Yes. And you can print on just about anything? Yep. Any medium. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Look at these little stones are kind of fun. Yeah. And what I love about Megan is she's a joy to be around because she's pretty funny. Aww. <laughs> also, the way she keeps her booth. Yeah. Um, being an interior designer, I love somebody who really makes it nice all the time, and that's special. Wonderful. And I think people respond well when things are grouped together. Whoops, there's something just fell. But when things are grouped together and it's organized, I think people can see it better. Yeah. And I think that's um, very important. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I can see how your interior design expertise uh, comes hand in hand with this business. It really does. It does. And I, I uh, especially like doing those front windows. And we, we change them up about a, once every month. And I draw from all of the different vendors. And I do themes in the windows. And so you never know what my theme will be. Well, we have one up there that's a, third, a circus theme right now, and then we also have a big Thanksgiving theme. Wonderful. So it'll, it'll we'll move into the Christmas here once December hits. Excellent. I usually wait till December though. Yeah. Right. So this is our young entrepreneur. We have another young entrepreneur booth. You see the sign here, young entrepreneur this booth. This is her brother Christian. This is Terry. Summer and Christian. <laughs> And Terry's wearing one of the new hats oh, yes. from our other vendor. That's right. So they support each other here. It is very, it's very warm. Yes. It's very classy. Yes, and she's yes. spending her, her profits of her children. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I owe them. <laughs> Summer, will you show her what you make? Tell her about your candles. We make candles that are like that. Wonderful. Show her the logo, honey. Tell her what that LL means. LL means and my, me and my sister run this, but she's sick right now, but that's what it means. And your, your middle name is? Lynn, and my sister's is Lynn. And so it's Leland. Leland. They made their own logo. I mean, this, this fascinates me. Here she's 10 years old. Yeah. She came up with a logo and beautiful packaging mm -hmm. and sparklies on her candle all by themselves. You know, mm -hmm. for how much are these? One dollar? They're, they're, they're three? Two. Oh, they're two? Three. Okay. Yeah, we down the price. You down the price. Set your small business <laughs> Saturday special. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, very good. And I just think it's neat that she, instinctively she figured out how to market yeah. her product with nobody even telling her. Yeah. I think that's impressive. And she's made these. She's made these little things out of wood and cardboard. This is a little kitchen. And she made a little teepee. Oh my <laughs> little gosh. Fun stuff. Um, that is so cute. Do this for free? People walk in and Oh, that's a small Here. business pen. Yeah, yes, a small yes. business pen. Yeah. Wonderful. And they yeah. brought all their books that, they, that they're that they done with. And we have a book department. And Excellent. we also And their clothing, too. Excellent. So that's what's kind of fun. They can just sell whatever they want. Yes. Thank you, Summer. And it gives them a chance to, to feel like what it's like to have a store. Absolutely. And there's Christian giving you his favorite dance. He's flossing. Yes, That's he's flossing. That's what I learned, yes. <laughs> yes. One dance that mothers can't learn. That's right. That's right. Excellent. And then we have Jeannie's booth over here. She's, she's escaped. But she has a, a, a lot of jewelry and um, 
Um, oh, just all different yeah, stuff. Yeah, it looks like a lot of houseware. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to categorize, and that's okay because yeah. people bring whatever they they seem to find, and and that makes it fun for the customer. Yeah, absolutely. Ralph would be another one of those people. Um, that you would come into here, and you just, you're just in a whole new world. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this. We have a blue stone mantle so that's a mantle top next to some winter gear an ironing board it is a little bit of everything hi ralph <laughs> okay ralph doesn't want to be on we'll just show off his booth a little bit okay yep. fantastic yep and you just never know what's going to be in ralph's booth wow <laughs> fantastic all right, then we have mm -hmm. Jen and Howard, wherever they are. There's Howard. There's Jen. Jen? She doesn't want to be on. There's Howard. And they have all kinds of little antique uh, figurines. And, oh my gosh, it's hard to categorize it. I, I stumble for words sometimes. Pottery. Mm -hmm. Indian village over there. Yeah. Masks. Okay. Look at these, wonderful. Yeah. And then we have an author here An around author. the corner. Yes, we do. He's written book, Uncle John's Diner, which is a little diner across the street. And you can meet her. He's got a happy customer here, and he'll sign the book for you. Wonderful. Yeah, it's nice, nice to have him here. And we'll put him. We'll give you. He'll give you a hello here in a minute. Yeah. This is our circus booth over here. Oh, I see the circus booth. <laughs> we attempted to. We were going to have a trapeze here, so this little doll could be hanging. Here. She was going to hang from the trapeze, but we just didn't get to it. <laughs> Kind of fun. Classic. Look at that. And that was inspired just by that piece of art that Rosie and John brought in. And all of a sudden I went, okay, we have to have a circus window. I love it. <laughs> so it, it kind great. of kind of happens like that sometimes. That's great. So it's a busy market and it's a um, varied market. Just never never know what you're gonna find and who and who you're gonna find shopping here. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Well, wonderful. Thank you so much for having me. You're Annie. welcome. This space is incredible. Yay. And 5,000 feel... 5, square feet. Wow. And Just upstairs, and then we're going to open the downstairs too. That's right. Too. So seriously, expanding. if you want to be a vendor, give me a, give me a message. Absolutely. <laughs> and uh, I feel like I've met more entrepreneurs yes. in this space than I would at the mall. <laughs> well, they're they're deeply invested because this is this is their this is what they do. You know, this is um, this is something that's um, fun for them. You know, and how many people can say that they go to work and they have fun every day? Not everybody does. These people do. You bet. Yep. You bet. Yep. All right. Thank you so much for having us, yep. everybody. One hundred three Remsen Street, Cohoes Downtown Marketplace definitely worth taking the trip if you're in Cohoes it's just a quick shot down to Remsen Street if you're not in Cohoes wherever you are I highly recommend uh, stopping by it is just buzzing in here um, just great vibes all around uh, it's uh, just absolutely flowing with entrepreneurial spirit we have young vendors to support uh, we have uh, just such a an incredible amount of talent. Yeah. Incredible yeah. amount of talent uh, yeah. under one roof. So uh, stop by. It's not check a flea it out. market. It's not, a marketplace. It sure is. That's why that is. I renamed it the marketplace because we want artists as well as people that do collectibles. Yeah. A little of everybody, but it's a mix. Yes. And, absolutely. And stay tuned for new visuals as as I continue to change uh, up the look in here. 
we've got some we've got some things in store for you. Very exciting. <laughs> I'm excited to see what you do at this place okay. um, and to see how it grows and progresses as you go. And uh, as soon as you open that downstairs, you and I have a date for another live. Okay, so we can check yay. that out too. We'll take All you right. Up on that. All right. Thanks, guys. Check out the Cohoes Downtown Marketplace at 103 Remsen Street for Small Business Saturday. Thank you. Bye. Bye.